we're still in full training mode for the Mexico contest, which is now quickly approaching and there's no better place to train. We're at the Brind Brothers airbag. Winter time around the world, but especially in the UK, is damp and it gets dark so early and you honestly couldn't have a better spot than we're at right now. Floodlit, airbag, seven foot tall lip. It's just absolutely perfect for practicing and I'm so grateful they let us come ride here, especially with the event approaching. I'm gonna welcome Andy into the video, who is one half of the Brin Brothers. I am. This is your setup, it's sick, man. Ideal time of year for it, really, yeah. like I say. Summer, you go out riding, and then this time of year is when you start getting your tricks dialed in. And yeah, put the hard graft places in. like this when everyone else isn't riding. So, yeah. Let's take a little look around the bag and see what we're in store for. We've got a s eight foot tall, isn't it? Eight foot tall. <laughs> you said seven. It's just oh. So we have six, and then we had a separate seven, and then we made the six foot and eight foot by bodging it together with the seven and then we rebuilt it all and just made it an eight. There we go. With a removable top, so we can make it back down to so the So you can seven. actually change the size if yeah, you want to. Yeah, yeah. see look, just, just unscrew this piece, take the top section off and you've got a seven foot kicker. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go back to eating. <laughs> There we go. I said it was a seven at the start. I was getting mixed up. Andy just cleared that up for us. Let's take a look at the landing. This is the bag. It's made by Didi, who make the same bags that the Nitro Circus use. It's so good. It's a landing bag. It's not flat. It's just perfect. It gives you that confidence to learn the tricks. You run it wet because airbags can be grippy. So sometimes if you land funny on them, you can like break your leg and stuff quite easy because it twists and it can snap bones. But this is nice and wet. It's nice and safe and it's gonna be perfect for us to progress on. And Andy, what are you eating? Peak and slice. A peak, I don't know what that is. You've never lived then. It's a peak and Danish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a peak and Danish. <laughs> I'm gonna go warm up instead of talking about food. <laughs> Tuck my hand up. Easy. I can't do that, I'm strapped in. <laughs> You could tuck no hander actually. I can tuck no hander, yeah, easy. I just go up and do. Yeah. Do you think, what, what do you think you could do first run? I mean, I've, I've double flipped it first run before. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see. At Cam's request. Do you think you could double you flip? You've got to build up, you got to build up. Okay. I can't oh, just sorry. give him the goods. <laughs> oh. Do Steezy 360. Steezy 3, okay. Right. And I'm going to go from the rolling properly this time. Steezy 3. Oh, that was Steezy, yeah. No, and there's definitely not enough money in the world to send, I would take no paycheck to come down that rolling on that. It's incredible what he's doing on that. Oh, so close. I know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> what an incredible view from on top of the rolling. Look at that winter fun laid out in front of us. I'm going to start things off with a nice backflip. Woo! Yeah! Oh, flip table. Good size jump now, it's got a lot, of, a lot of pop on it. I like the feeling. You're having a nice chat back there. Yeah, that was good. All right, we're gonna rattle out a few warm up tricks. Let's just play some consecutive clips. This is a much better way to warm up than doing that. <laughs> It. that's like a nice little warm-up they're like a lot of your core tricks which everything else sort of stems off and I'm feeling good like I've been putting a bit more time in on the jump bike I'm starting to feel dull which is a good thing because I do soon have to transfer it over to the slope duro which is gonna be another step and obviously a challenge in itself but I'm feeling ready for it do we now go double trucks in his run trucks or do we do free tuck the car is saying option two which is the free no hander so let's get up there see if we can get a nice one Let's just cut in the clip where I tried to backflip, shall we? <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. oh my god. No bike experience, I jumped it, did a tuck no hand, and I thought, yeah, I'll try and flip this. 
nearly got it, and then the second attempt went horribly wrong. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's the slope duo that we're going to convert. What's the difference? Just the soft and squidginess. It doesn't throw you off the jump. And the it? wheels are bigger. Wheels are bigger, yeah. No, you should be fine. It'd be easier Just... though on bigger wheels. Fine. Here he goes, he's oh. going up. Oh. He's going up. In and flip. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yes. Nothing to worry about. That was oh, sick. You were there. First hit on the slope, Jero. <laughs> First hit on a full sus on the airbag. And I don't even run. Bikes. Tuck no hand. Tuck no up. hand. Straight out. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh. No one's even hit that on a big bike, no. though, have they? Yeah, it's your airbag. You had to be first. Yeah, to it's now my bike as well, which is <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's Cara's bike. You just nicked. So. Oh my god! No way! First try. <laughs> the reason they're cheering is because it normally takes them a while. Both end bars are opposite. So it's kind of scary. I actually find free bar to bar back easier, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Regular bar, catch one hand, again, push Matt. it back. Could you try again? I'm gonna go try. <laughs> try again. Right, bar, bar back. I just did a three whip, which is feeling good. Maybe, depending on how the enduro, slope duro feels, that's something we can bring over to it. I want to do a seven on this lip. It feels so good. I haven't done one for a while, so we're going to get it. Yep, dog. That was perfect. Ooh, yeah, it was a nice one. I like regular sevens. They're a bit harder, I must say, than corks. Although I haven't done corks to a jump, um, Generally, the axis you're spinning on, that's quite a bit more difficult. So, yeah, I'm stoked to have pulled that around. Could that be something that works on the slope duro? There's all these options. We've got to progress onto that in future videos, but I'm excited to be getting things dialed on here, and then eventually we're gonna just transfer it all over, or as much as possible. I'm now gonna do a backflip Superman. Right, so Tom is trying, well, he's testing the airbag for a front flip. So he actually hasn't done a front flip since his crash last July where he ruptured his spleen. He's actually done a few to foam pit, but never to an airbag landing or any kind of landing really. So it's actually pretty nerve wracking to even know that he's thinking about doing it. I think it's there. Oh, it's there. Are you nervous? You're probably more I'm nervous actually really yeah. nervous, yeah. Like, not just to watch Tom do a front flip now, but when anybody does a front flip, it gives me a weird feeling. Let's just go through. So those of you that may be new to the channel, about a year and a half ago, I had a crash, ruptured my spleen doing a front flip. It's a trick I used to all the time. I misjudged it big time, made it onto national TV with a clip and made a feature about it. But I haven't really done them since. I've kind of left it because obviously I've been pretty put off. Ruptured spleen, hit my head, had a fit. Although it's an airbag, don't take anything away from it. It's still a big jump and it is still scary. I've done a few in the foam pit throughout the summer and since my crash, but I think that I've got it and I've just done a few test runs there. So I think this one, I'm just gonna give it a try. I feel ready. I'm not. <laughs> oh, I'm more nervous for him than I am when I have to do something. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that was so scary. It worked. That was sick, well done. Well Let's fun. go. It's so weird, isn't it? Like, I mean, it was actually so easy. I don't know how, could you see it quite well? Yeah. Yeah, like it was, uh, it was working pretty good. So I'm stoked with that. Do you want to do some more from different angles? Because you couldn't, probably couldn't see the kicker and probably couldn't exactly see the landing. So let's get a few more. I didn't really want to see any of it, to be honest. I'm so stoked with that. Like, honestly, I like. I thought about shutting my eyes and then I was like, no, I've got to look because I've got to film it. I've honestly, like that one that I crashed on was such an outlier. I've done so many in my life and I used to do them on big jump. I was really, I. I hate to say it about myself, but I was really good and really confident at them. 
and then just one you know, just goes show you it catches you out yeah it's so funny how yeah. just that one setup caught me out and yeah. like almost um, but, actually killed me but yeah. it's also put you off it completely for like a year and a half until yeah. now yeah 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 Oh. Just oh my god. Away with that. It was slow, wasn't it? That <laughs> but did you almost loop out? Tom Cardi on the fronty. Oh. Where are you going now? The other side? Back on the fronty. Back on the fronty. Give me like probably a couple of weeks and I'll be on the fronty turks, fronty X ups again. Oh. All that will be rolling out. But for now, let's just stick with a front flip. Easy. They feel good again now. Uh, yeah, they feel just as they used to, which I'm so, so happy about. And I'm so happy that I'm going to celebrate with a Superman seat grab. Yo! Tom, this is how you Superman, my boy. <laughs> That's a proper Superman. That's how you do it, my friend. That was very good. What an insane session that's been. That front flip has been long coming. And I've got to say a big thanks to Andy for letting us come ride the facility. Cheers for having us tonight. I've, no I really appreciate it, dude. Anytime. That's so sick. And we're going to wrap it up there. The training for the contest continues. Next video, we're probably going to be switching the slope duro up or doing something else fun. So if you've enjoyed this one, please leave some comments below. Give us a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a